Well, this is your weekly devotional for Wednesday, June 23rd, and we're looking at Proverbs chapter 24. We're gonna keep walking all the way through Proverbs 31 in the coming weeks, and then we'll pray about what's next for our weekly devotions. But in chapter 24, there's all kinds of amazing lessons. I wanna hit on three thoughts, three kind of nuggets of truth that I hope speak to your heart. And my encouragement is that you take at least one of these and let God speak to your heart and let it impact your life in the coming week as you follow Jesus. And so here's the first one. Uh, love justice and seek it. We should love justice and we should seek after justice for the glory of God. Listen to these words from Proverbs 24, verses 23 to 25. These also are the sayings of the wise. To show partiality in judging is not good. Whoever says to the guilty, you are innocent, will be cursed by peoples and denounced by nations. But it will go well with those who convict the guilty and rich blessing will come on them. It's an interesting thought that actually convicting the guilty honors God, and it's wrong to convict those who aren't guilty. Uh, as human beings in a world that ha talks a lot about justice, but oftentimes justice doesn't even really feel like justice. It feels like it's kind of been convoluted or twisted. We need to say, God, what is justice in your sight? God, God says to love mercy, do justice, walk humbly with him. That's our calling. And so say, God, what do you say is right? What do you say honors you? And we as followers of Jesus in every way we can should seek after his justice. Lesson number two, set clear priorities. Live with priorities. Listen to verse 27. I, I love, this is just a great simple little thought, but let it sink into your mind. Put your outdoor work in order and get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Now this is an ancient, in, written in the ancient world in an agricultural setting. And the point is, if you don't have food to eat, building a fancy house isn't gonna work out for you because you're gonna starve to death. Get your priorities straight. Whatever you're doing in life, in your schooling, in your work, in your family life, what matters most, do that first. I, I love the little thing that the flight attendants will say on planes, where they'll say, if the mask comes down, which you hope never happens when you're on a plane, but if the mask popped down, they always say, put the mask on yourself first and then help those around you or even help your children, why? Because if you don't put the mask on yourself first, you may run out of oxygen, you may die, and then you can't help anybody. Set your priorities straight. What matters most? I'm reminded of what Jesus said. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Put first things first in your life. And then finally, last lesson. See, see this, this is complex, but see if, see if you can capture this. Don't be lazy. <laughs> don't be lazy. Proverbs has a lot to say about, about industry and working hard and about laziness. So here's a little story that we find in verses 30 through 34. I went past the field of a sluggard, past the vineyard of someone who has no sense. Thorns had come up everywhere. The ground was covered with weeds and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and I learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest and poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. Work hard, be industrious. Don't be shocked if you don't work hard if you don't have any money. It, it sounds so simple and yet it's, it's a profound truth. And in our world right now, I wanna give a, a personal pastoral challenge. If you have an option to not work and get paid or to work and get paid, I would encourage you to create a rhythm in your life of working and getting paid. We live in a time right now where some people are deciding to collect a check because they can for doing nothing. But if you can offer something to the world around you, if you can work and do something with meaning, it brings purpose to your life. And I believe it honors Jesus. The Bible teaches us in the book of Genesis that we were created for work. In the, in the garden, in paradise, before any sin came into the world, God said, tend to the garden and take care of it. In perfect paradise, there was work. It makes me wonder, in heaven, will there be work to do? And most people go, well, no, in heaven, you're gonna sit around and do nothing. I mean, that's heaven. But wait a minute, paradise before the fall was meaningful labor. Maybe God has something planned for us for eternity. You got work forever? If that sounds terrible to you, they'll say, God, give me a fresh perspective on work and maybe help do the kind of work that brings meaning to my life. I want to pray for you, but before I do, I want to invite you to join us this coming Sunday for worship. We will be worshiping God online, on campus. There's all kinds of options. Check out the website and join us this Sunday for worship. Let's pray together. Lord, as we walk through this coming week, 
as we follow you, let us walk in wisdom. Let us be diligent. Let us be faithful. Let us love justice and mercy and honor you in all we do. We pray this for the glory of Jesus. Amen.